Hampton, Ga, about 30 laps before Sunday's Cup race. Joey Logano looked around and suddenly saw Corey LaJoy's car out front. Oh, here it is, Logano thought to himself. The ultimate winner. Where has he been all day? Corey just showed up right there. LaJoy took a methodical approach. Running in top 10 in just 13 of the first 167 laps and has found himself ahead for third consecutive race since Atlanta Motor Speedway's restructuring. His career-best fourth-place finish on Sunday continued his strong run in Atlanta, but also demonstrated growth in the Spire Motorsports team. With just five races to the season, LaJoy is 14th in points. He never finished the cup better than 29th place. LaJoy finished 5th in Atlanta in March 2022 and was overtaken by Chase Elliott two laps ahead of the finish of the July 2022 race there. His move on Sunday started Logano in the final round to pass Brad Keselowski for the win. As LaJoy continued to seek his first ever cup win, he was excited about the outcome. Yes, there are moral victories, he said after the end of Sunday in 35 weekends of the year. If you get smashed, here's your chance to win. When you can be fourth. There are so many good things wrapped up in that. It's huge for me. This is huge for our team. It was also important that LaJoy was the best finisher Chevrolet. This is a really big deal for us, crew chief Ryan Sparks told NBC Sports. Just to prove ourselves and hopefully continue to build a relationship with Chevrolet. Being top finisher is always great. Obviously we want to win the race. We're getting close. I think we'll be out there when the year is over. LaJoy finished 16th this year's Daytona 500 after failing in feature show race at the Clash. Coliseum exhibition race. He followed this up with 14th place Fontana, California, followed by 20th in Las Vegas and 26th Phoenix before Sunday. He averaged 16.0 in the first races of the season. He has never averaged better than 24th in previous full-time cup seasons. His performance this year has kept him one playoff spot and ahead in the standings three cars from Stuart Haas Racing two cars from 2311 Racing both cars from Legacy Motor Club both cars from Front. Row Motorsports all Hendrick cars both colleague race cars, we started the year really well, LaJoy said. I don't think we could have started better. We screwed things up in Phoenix but we came back rebounded and put a good payday in the bank a few points around the guys we competed with. It's inevitable that most of the guys ahead of us will catch up. These guys are consistently top 10 and top 15 finishers. So we have to get there as much as we can at any intermediate or intermediate level. Run a little better in the top 15 on any short track. We're getting there. Days like this give us more confidence. Sunday's race matched two drivers among the sport's best in a highway-style race vying for the win. Over former teammates Joey Logano and Brad Keselowski, it was the first time they finished 1-2 in a highway-style race as Logano passed Keselowski on the final lap to win in Atlanta on Sunday. I think Brad is one of the top five speed road racers on the racetrack, Logano said. I feel like I'm there. A few other people who have been there that you know are really good at it. Somehow we were drafting each other back and forth. Side by side. Okay, this is what you've been waiting for. It's fun to go up against the best like this. He's been working really hard for this. He's looking into it. He's really smart in highway racing. Definitely. When you think about combinations of driver and spotter, you go up against two of the best. Right? TJ and Brad are me and Coleman Presley. A few human pairs who understand the plot. These two groups are the best at it. Said it was fun to get there in the end. Keselowski of the Logano race said, of course we know each other's moves pretty well. But it's just a matter of how the cookie crumbles. And he eventually got there and made a good move. Thank you. It was a very different ending to their duel in the final round of the 2021 Daytona 500. 
helped Logano led Keselowski when they made contact, triggering a multi-car accident and allowing Michael McDowell to win the race. Brad Kalowski's second finish continued his better start to the season compared to last year. Still, we're right there as our team continues to evolve and show what it's made of, Keselowski said. So I'm proud of it. Take a look at how well this season started for Keselowski compared to last year. His average finish in the first five races of this season is 13.2. Compared to 19.2 this time last year, he's in the top 15 for 85% laps this season. Compared to 37.4% of laps in the first five races last season, the average running position in a race is 9.5 this year compared to 18.3 this time last year.